Hi, my name is Matt Yoshida. I work in LTE product management, and today we're at uh, CTI 2009 in Las Vegas. Uh, what we're presenting you today is a couple of demos that we have uh, put up in the last about 10 days, and we'll start off with our showcase, the uh, the drive demo. So, so the drive demo here, what we've got is uh, our packet core behind the wall connected to uh, base stations up in the catwalk and on the, um, on the roof of the Las Vegas Convention Center. Um, this is an actual live shot from the van that we're taking uh, over LTE. And we're taking people around, driving, and using different type of applications such as HD video. Uh, also, we're doing the internet as well as uh, other uh, streaming uh, content uh, online. One of the key functionalities uh, for this uh, drive demo is handoff. Basically, right now, we've got site one showing uh, the data rates, and what will happen when the uh, van goes around the streets, it'll hand off to this site two. As the handoff is happening, you'll notice that the data rates will go down here. As it, you can tell it's going down here, now it'll come back over here. And as you can see, we're, we have about five megabits per second on the uplink like we had before by having a lot more uh, bandwidth or on the downlink having more like 10 megabits per second. What we have here is our wireless broadband radio 500R. We had a press release uh, a couple days ago with regards to introducing our latest commercial product. Um, the two things that we've got here is one is the base control unit and then we have up here the remote radio head. And so both of these combined are the WBR 500R. Uh, this is a multi-technology product. Uh, we both have uh, LTE as well as WiMAX in here. And uh, additionally, this is pretty much what we call zero footprint, where you could actually put in a 19-inch rack. You could also put it into uh, on a pole. So if you've got really a uh, total cost of ownership is very low on this product. Next thing I'd like to show you is the our multimedia uh, Evolve Packet Core, our EPC. Uh, it's right now housed in a NEBS compliant uh, frame. What we'll do, we'll go from the bottom uh, to the top, identifying each uh, chassis. The uh, wireless broadband gateway that we have here uh, supports two key functionalities. One is the serving gateway, and then the other one is the PDN gateway. And next, uh, in, the, in the middle of the frame, we've got our um, wireless broadband controller. The controller uh, has two functionalities, which is the MME and the MCU. The key here is that this box does session management as well as QoS bear management. Additionally, uh, the uh, frame is rated from 250k subscribers up to 6 million subscribers. All right, lastly, we have our uh, LTE manager and the, uh, our self-organized uh, networks. Uh, basically, what this does is it, one, uh, manages the LTE system as well as uh, the security uh, for the operator. So those are the two key functionalities for this product. The SAN solution was awarded the third place. Uh, for the eTech uh, Emerging Technology Awards for CTI 2009. The next demo here we have is our work that we've done with mobile devices and networks. Um, we've done a really good job trying to get this up and running. Um, the first demo that we'll show you today is with regards to LTE to EVDO handoffs. Um, as you can tell, we've got the bitrate right now set at LTE and the video running. Um, and what it does is when we switch it to uh, DO Rev A, uh, it, it actually can tell the degradation in both the bitrate as well as the video. All right. So that's the, the first one. The second one we also have here is called SoftSim. Normal GSM uh, handsets will have a chipset like this uh, that'll basically include all the authentication information as well as your phone numbers and so forth. Um, in 3GPP, uh, basically is a requirement to have this uh, enabled inside a phone. So what uh, mobile devices have done is included this in this phone, but as a software. So basically what it'll do, it'll reduce, one, the cost of having hardware such as this embedded into the phone, as well as its, its security, because of the fact if a phone gets stolen, then all the information is, is stored up on the server. So that's the, the key fundamental uh, two attributes of this demo. Our last uh, demo here, what we have is what we call the LTE video and blogging. So what we do here is we get other people uh, involved coming, looking at the booth, their impressions about Motorola, uh, and record their impressions and send them to a server. Uh, what we do from there, we multicast it to different type of social networks, uh, such as Blogspot, uh, YouTube, and Twitter. Um, so that's kind of where all the video content, it's one for clarity, uh, the, also the multicast functionality is, is where like end users will eventually get to see the, the final product.